Okay, hi guys. This is Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services here in the Boston area. I am a medical certified medical assistant, certified adult and pediatric first aid responder for the city of Boston, as well as a community health advocate. I'm here. Happy to, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, August the 22nd. Here in Boston on the east coast of the United States of America. The time is 6.34 p.m. And the topic I want to talk about, I'm going to make a string, string, a long list of topics today. The topic of my uh, video, my fourth video today on Sunday is called Hillsong. So uh, pretty much I want to um, address this issue. Um, there are churches known all around the world. There are churches known for years. There are churches that have been in the media. There have churches that have made, have made an impact on society. There have been ministries, churches, groups, ministers, community advocates, civil rights advocates, civil rights activists, whatever it is, there have been people in the spiritual movement that have made an impact on the world. And Hillsong, the Hillsong Church, so happens to be one of the biggest churches in the world that have made an impact on on America as well as on society in general, as well as the Christian church. And so usually when people think of Hillsong, they think of, of course, Hillsong, you have Darlene Check. Darlene Check and the song Shout to the Lord. Okay, which was a song from the 1990s that made a major, major impact on the Christian, contemporary Christian music as well as on the spiritual, spiritual uh, movement, okay, of churches and for church to help to include, to involve praise and worship, the impact of how much praise and worship could be on the church around the world. And so Darlene Check is one of the biggest singers, the biggest ministers known all around the world from her songs, for her pastoral ministry, for her community involvement all around the world. And Hillsong was one of the churches that hired her as its ministerial uh, ministerial minister of music, okay? And you know, the pastor, one of the pastors of Hillsong was um, Greg Laurie, I'm not, I'm, excuse me. Um, let me find the pastor. I think it's Greg Laurie. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm looking at right now because I'm on my list of topics today. So Hillsong has had scandals just like any other any other church. It's not it's not it's not excuse me, it's Brian Houston. Brian Houston. So Brian Houston has been one of the major, major ministers of Hillsong in Australia. And as you know, one of the biggest churches around the world is Hillsong in Australia, which has over 10, 20, 30,000 members in its church, okay? Like the church in uh, Lakeview Church in Houston, Texas, as well as in Grapevine Church in Grapevine, Texas, as well as in Los Angeles, California, as well as in Dallas, Texas with the Potter's House, as well as churches all around the world. But Hillsong so happens to be one of the biggest churches of ministry around the world. And Brian Houston has been involved with scandals with Houston, and so he had to resign from his position dealing with the, the Hillsong Church, okay, because of a scandal. And so, what I really want to talk about is there have been scandals all around the church and the church ministry. And just because there have been scandals or whatever political motivation has been upon or whatever involvement it has been upon, it still has not changed the mission of the church. The mission of the church still has remained the same. It's to go out there and to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the whole entire world. Okay, and so you have churches like Hillsong, which is not, is a difference between Hillsong and the Potter's House, there's a difference between Hillsong and Lake in Houston, Texas, there's a difference between Hillsong, Hillsong is one of the churches kind of familiar to Rodney Howard Brown's church in Tampa, Florida, where they have made international ministries all around the world, and usually one person and what a church hires one person to be in that ministry which can make a mega mega impact just because you had a person in the ministry all around the world all around the world 
okay? Just because you have one person in your ministry, darling, check, and her group, her group of people, okay? The, um, um, hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out the name of her ministry, her music ministry. Bear with me. I'm trying to give this up to you guys. Jehovah, it's not Jehovah Ministry. What is it called? Um, I can't think. Bear with me, bear with me. She's had Darling Trek has been done so many, so many songs. She had an album called Kiss of Heaven, which was amazing. It's worship in 2002. I'm on Wikipedia right now. Um, People Just Like Us in 1994. Um, Shout to Lord in 1993. Um, Integrity Music. Integrity Music. So, Integrity Music had ministers like Ron Cannoli, like Darling Chet, like so many mega ministers involved in the contemporary Christian music that made such an impact on praise and worship for throughout the whole entire world. And so Darling Chet was a minister in Hillsong that her ministry was able her mission was able to make an impact on the whole entire world. She has touched millions and millions of people through her songs, through her concerts, through her mission, through whatever she's been involved with. And that's how she's been involved with. And a positive light. And usually, most of the time, when you have that big of a ministry, when you have that big of an impact around the world, okay, when you have that big of an impact, there always comes scandal or something negative will come in the way something negative will come in the way okay she's still actively involved with she still has that great mission involved with but the church the Hillsong church has has suffered because of the political scandals that have been involved with it now mega churches are still very much involved with and have impact on the global climate today politically involved community activate community, community involved from New York, mega churches in Los Angeles, mega churches in um, mega churches in uh, Dallas, Texas, Atlanta, New Orleans, uh, Georgia. Um, I could going on and on. Mega churches in Florida. Okay, Florida has a really big impact on the Christian ministry, as well as people in in different sects all around the United States, all around the world. India, India has a great, great religious movement. Okay big it's an entire huge country around the world but still the christian movement the christian momentum has guided that way into a positive atmosphere that darling check and her ministry was able to go out there and to touch people all around the world all around the world okay so the mission of hillsong has been to go out there and to talk to people and to bring the message of the, of the body of Christ across, bring the message of God across, as well as to get out there and reach out to young people. And so Hillsong has been able to focus on young people from the age, from the age group of 18 to 35, and that has been one of the predominantly focus of their ministry, and has able to survive up until today in the new millennial from the 1990s, the early, the late 1980s, the 1990s up until now because of its impact on young people. And that's why Hillsong, the Hillsong Church, has been able to survive throughout the years. To survive. And it has had churches all across the world. Not just in Australia, but all across the world. Because of its impact. Okay, its spiritual impact. So when I went to Hillsong Church today, I was a little bit surprised. Okay, I was a little bit surprised how small the church was. 
okay the church had less than 100 people in it okay for a church like Hillsong in Boston I look Boston Massachusetts I was really a little bit more surprised but it's still you know at the same time I was dealing with a lot of emotional issues too the minister was good I still want to address some issues about the church what was going on okay the church was made predominantly of young white as well as young Latino people there Okay, so it's kind of like a young network of young people at Hillsong, usually, which is which is okay, cause it's cause Boston is predominantly is very multicultural, but a church like Hillsong has a large, large message. So you're not just speaking to the young people in Boston; you're speaking to people all around the world. And so you have to be very, very careful when you go to these mega churches. It really doesn't matter how small the church is. Whatever mess they're trying to get into, they have an impact all around the world in their different congregations, in their different segments of that global mega denominational church. And when they make a statement, when they make a message, it goes across it the whole entire world. So I was embarrassed for a couple of issues that happened to me in the church today, but I still choose to remain in this seat and to remain focused on why I wanted to come there, which was to get a blessing from God. So unfortunately, I heard the message and I received the message and eventually I'll go back in the future. Okay, but still understand that the, the Hillsong is still existing today because of its ministry as well as its, as well as its impact, like I said before. So it has to continually, continually, continually feed into young people, excuse me, over and over and over again. Have a new fresh word, have a new fresh ministry. So of course you're going to have either a white minister or a young minister to reach out to other people too as well. Which is great. It's great. Hillsong is great. It's a great church. It's a good church. It's great praise and worship. Amazing, amazing praise and worship. Okay, you lift your hands, great, that's great. But when you lift your hands, you lift your hands and and um, you lift your hands and in, in, in reverence to God as well as in surrender. You're not just lifting your hands to sing good holy Christian music, to lift your hands to feel to feel good about yourselves. You're lifting your hands to surrender to God. And so it's good to, to lift your hands and, and sing sing good Christian love songs. That's great good songs that make you feel good but eventually you lift up your hands and you put your hands back down and you go back to the same situation that you left from before okay so um and that's another issue i'm going to talk about before but sometimes when people uh when people's when people's life okay does not change when they go to these big mega churches they feel good they feel great but at the same time it it does not change in your life your behavior remains the same it does not change your life does not change you go back to the same situation you go back to the same habits you go to a good good holy holy filled christian church good mega ministry you lift your hand you sing good good feel good christian christian music love songs christian good good songs you feel good you praise you sing to, your, to sing to god you're happy you're excited you're excited to go to church you look good everybody's happy you feel good and then once you leave church that feeling goes away that emotion goes away and you go back to the same same behavior and the same habits as before and your life does not change your life does not change and so that still should remain the focus of what Hillsong should be about changing the lives of the young people who has made a tremendous impact on this global worldwide ministry and so I'm thankful that that Darlene Check is still she's not involved with the Hillsong Church anymore but she still has had emotional impact on the world through the ministry that she was involved in Hillsong okay so I'm glad I was able to come to the, find them today which is good they're all around the world they're in Dallas they're in New York they're in Los Angeles they have church sex all around the world which is great but again you the the mission of that ministry should should be to make a global impact on changing young people and so i'm very happy to be a part of that okay so this little queen battle talking about building church okay love you guys